name is David, and I'm the varsity captain for my soccer team. I'm a senior in high school, and I was recently recruited to play for Duke University. I've been playing soccer for about 10 years, and I'm proud to say that I'm appointed as a captain since my junior year. I pretty much live for soccer. Soccer has taught me many things in life, like perseverance, hard work, and commitment. Oh. There's nothing else that can bring me this amount of joy and happiness other than my parents. My parents have been supporting my soccer career 100% since the very beginning and I don't ever want to do anything to let them down. Aside from soccer, I have pretty much got everything in check. Doing well in school is just another way to live to my fullest potential. Plus, I have a couple of people that look up to me, so I try to be the best that I can. Oh my god! 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 Last season, you scored the winning goal for the game, but you didn't seem too overly excited about it. Well, scoring the goal in itself was amazing, but in all honesty, it didn't really mean much after that. I guess you could say that it was really just a momentary feeling. You seem to have a lot of friends around you, but you're closer to one particular friend. Could you tell us about it? Oh, you mean Jonathan? Yeah, he's been my best friend since we were kids. Um, Jonathan's always been that positive person in my life that challenges me to be a better person at times. I usually turn to him when I need some advice. Um, we pretty much do everything together except on Fridays. He goes to church and I have to go to my games. Was there ever a time where you wanted to check out church with him before? Uh, no, not really. My life was really perfect, so I didn't really feel like it. So you felt like your life couldn't get any better? Yep, pretty much. Ah, David Lee is my biggest fan. Oh, I copied him. He's oh, so I, hot! Oh, his soccer plays. I mean, just, I'm like, oh my god. Dude, I, I love you, David. I love you. And that was a moment that changed my life for good. From then on, my life just went downhill. Basically, I torn my anterior cruciate ligament, which pretty much means that I can't play soccer at the level I was at ever again. Obviously, that meant my Duke acceptance got revoked, and I saw 10 years of hard work and dedication disappear. Just like that. I went through major depression and anger, and I wouldn't come out of my room for weeks. I refused to go to school or see anyone. What about Jonathan? Well, at the time, I was just so clouded up with bitterness that I saw everyone as my enemy. I felt like no one in the world would understand my pain and suffering, and I wasn't interested in any pity from anybody. What do you want? David, are you okay? You haven't been coming out to school. I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Yeah, I can tell when you're not fine. Dude, trust me, I'm fine. You can tell me anything, dude! dude. I'm fine, just, just leave me alone. Fine. Sorry. So on Sunday, April 20th, um, you guys want to bring out your friends because we want to share with them the gospel message. So you guys have like a little piece of paper. Can you guys write down the person's name, their school, and they're great. And this is the person that you guys are going to bring out to 420, bring a friend Sunday. I 
I started getting stubborn and entered a phase of denial. I couldn't get myself to believe or accept the fact that one fall could just completely ruin my life. But after that night, I realized that it was over. There was nothing I could do for myself anymore. My reason for living literally got destroyed and I felt lost, confused, and purposeless. I saw no reason for me to continue this cruel life anymore. David, just tell me what's going on now. Just leave me alone. David! It would be so important in your life that you're willing to die for this. Dude, course. shut up, alright? You don't know anything. David! Just tell me. Dude, I played soccer for 10 years. Just because of this stupid injury, dude. I can't even play anymore. I can't even do anything. My, my life is ruined. Stop being so selfish! Have you thought about this at all? It's gonna happen to your mom. It's gonna happen to your dad. It's gonna happen to your best friend. Soccer isn't life, dude. You're here. Without soccer in front of me right now, you're still living! I don't know, man. I just... I, I don't know what to do without soccer. Like, It seems like I can't do anything right now, alright? Just, just leave me alone. David, please. please. Just come to church with me just once. Well, I thought it was pretty selfish of myself to not bring David to church, especially after the, the accident. And David was going through such a hard time. But I knew I knew the answer to his problems. It's like I knew what would bring the light back into his life. So I just had to swallow my pride and just beg him to 
eat my reason for living, which was Jesus Christ. After going to church for a while, I learned not only about Christianity, but what kind of being our God was. I realized that God has a reason for everything He does in our life, so I, so I began to see that it was God that took soccer away from me. It was all planned out. At the time, I couldn't see it, but you know, God won't allow us to have something if it won't benefit us. I'll never really know why my future couldn't consist of soccer, but I believe it's because God wanted to use me for greater purposes. <laughs> So I've decided to live for God's glory rather than my own. I found it to be much more rewarding that way. Honestly, it was, it was really hard to get through to David, but I trusted in God that even if he didn't come to church, that at least the seed would be planted in his heart. And thankfully, with the grace of God, David accepted Christ. I've been so blind to the bigger picture in life since I've based my happiness and content on temporary things like soccer, popularity, good grades, and good college. Now I found the key to eternal happiness and that is solely just depending on God and by serving and living on His Word. You see, this type of glory just never Oh, also, there's this one kid that I'm thinking of bringing up to church with me. If it wasn't for Jonathan, I wouldn't have been able to get back on my feet and come this far after the accident. I want to do the same and help someone to see the true purpose in life. Hi, my name is Zion and this is my story. Girl, my body don't like yeah, you make it like a sweat, right? Baby, from me.